That's a shadow. Oh, you're right. It is a shadow. Shh. Shh. Like, it doesn't have to be a shadow if you don't want it to be. Polarin. <laughs> All right, we're continuing our run. We secured the second island. Uh, I don't remember if both of our islands were perfect. No, they weren't, because we had one goof up, and it was butts. However, uh, we're in really good shape right now. Like, uh, we are really, really well off. We're going to be using this critical shields ability. Um, I don't have the power for it yet, but soon we will. And, uh, yeah, we got this acid tank. We got Bethany Jones rocking on the ice mech. It's pretty dirty. Kill seven enemies. And we get, we got to make our way over to that power for sure. So let's do that. My immersion! My god! You know what? C can I go back down here? Is that is this, like, okay enough of a spot? Like, I know I'm blocking, like, tile information here. You know what I mean? But, like... Do, do, do we know the game well enough where I can come live on the fucking ground? Not be floating? I think I can. I think I can. I think we, I think we know enough about the game now. What's up, Sad? How you doing today, brother? You sit where you're comfortable, Billy. All right, cool. Sounds great. Let's go right up here. How many achievements are there to go? Um. Well, we got this trick shot. And then I think I have four others on top of this trick shot. I don't know if we're actually going to complete this trick shot on this run. I might need to do a run specifically for it, but we did. We got several achievements done yesterday. We got like five or six done yesterday. So, yeah. We got a pot in cupboard. Pots in cupboard. My God. Okay. Uh, that's dumb. Okay. Oh boy, this this shot is bad. We do not want to do that because I deal grid damage. All right, let's figure this out. Your attack does nothing. Your attack does nothing. This guy's the only attack that matters. So I, so like I have a lot of shit that I could do. It's just like I want to make real sure that I do the perfect play if I can, if I can. Is it possible for the Vec to stop, step on the pod on their first turn? I've never seen that happen. I've never seen that happen either. So I doubt it, but I don't know for sure. I do not know for sure. I'm inclined to freeze this guy. That's why I'm inclined to freeze. I don't have to freeze anything. I could launch an acid tank, but I feel like freezing is pretty good here. Because I don't want to have spiders continuously spawning. That sucks pretty bad. So I could... I could shoot this guy just to get him to go under. I could kill this guy first and stand on this to do it billy streaming from australia now yeah i am i am geisel <laughs> uh man i'm doing my best scott onesie wilson impression right it's my best one that's all i got All right, I think I like this play. Leaves you, you, and the tunneler up, but I block a spawn, which is pretty strong. And uh, I think we should still be able to get six additional kills. 
you know? Hopefully, no, I don't know where you should go. Okay. That's pretty perfect. That's pretty perfect. Okay. What are you shooting? You're shooting that too. So I need to stop you, you. I can kill you and you, or I could like damage you or whatever. Yeah, I can't kill you, but I could stop you and do two damage to you, and then I could come over here and kill you, and then I need to stop you. I could do that. I think I kind of want to uh, launch my tank and then acid you onto this tile. That sounds pretty good. And that way your attack goes nowhere. You go nowhere, you garbage. You garbage. I could block this spawn and shoot the tank, then I lose my shield. And I think I want another enemy to spawn. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take one point of damage from this guy. And I'm gonna be lit on fire. Mm, all right. I could have moved you here and not been on fire, but I'm just gonna deal with it. I'm just gonna deal with it. Yep. Oh no, you're rock. You can't be on fire. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. What are you doing? Don't do it. I see you. I see you coming at me here. I see you. Don't do it. He's gonna do. He's gonna do it. I knew it. I knew it. What a scumbag. I knew it from the start. Okay, rocket punch on this guy is good. It also pushes me out of the way. So I don't get hit by that. I can also shoot. I can actually shoot both of these guys. Not necessary, though. Two turns. stops you and kills you though that might be better that does get me more damage done total and it eliminates this guy and otherwise this guy is alive which actually might be better you could come over here and kill that guy and then you could come over here free him you're over here two enemies spawn this guy is still alive with two health can't do anything about it Oh. Unless I want you to kill him, but then this guy is still alive. Get you covered in acid. I'm gonna not block that spawn. Nah, I should probably block that spawn. I should definitely block that spawn. Might as well do that. All right. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's fine. All right. Very good. Seems very fine. I could just freeze this guy, or I could freeze the building as well if I get him free. I could uh, I could just move you over with the tank. I, ha I have all of my kills, though, but if I want all of my kills, I need to have you kill this guy. Actually, you don't kill him. Actually, you do if I move you over here. And then you can come over here and stop this guy. Alternatively, you could fire from this position into there. 
and then uh, kill him, and that way you don't fire into a building. Because if you go here or here, then you do fire into a building, which would be bad. Um, that's all fine. All these things that we're doing. Because you're doing... You're doing four. But if I bump you into this guy, and then that stops his attack too, I guess he's fine. Alright. GG. GG. Very, very nice. Uh, what do we got in there? Just a reactor core, nothing else. I'd kind of like to get a guy to replace this dude, but, uh, oh well. It's not happening yet. I want to get to that uh, extra reactor for sure. Could get the gain shield here, which wouldn't be bad. Or we could get this critical shields up. We're not at that point yet, but I would probably like it for the final fight. Probably. This Rocket Fist would be really good because it gives us unlimited range with that 4 damage, which is pretty dirty. It's pretty good. Although you do have a pretty ridiculous move, to be fair. Maybe giving you an extra move would be strong, too. Would definitely be strong. End the battle with less than 4 mech damage. Protect the power generator. Protect the power generator. All right do that three three you got three moves so i don't want to be in that spot if i don't want to be tangled up uh i don't know if i care about being tangled up with uh this guy though so i'll do that so you can move here and tangle me up that would hope oh, maybe you tangle me up i don't know if you're actually fucking gunner or not that may or may not actually happen it does happen that is totally fine bill is online what's up what's up ranthier how you doing today What's shaking? You stop you. Kind of want to stop you. I just freeze you. Just freeze them all. Freeze all of them. Freeze them to death. I can just shoot this. I don't, don't, I haven't, that, that means that I haven't dealt with this guy, which is kind of bad. Ooh, I like that play a lot. I like that play a lot. Then if I, if I knock this guy, if I kill you, bumping you into here with this guy. Yeah, okay, I have a better play. Let's do this play. How does this, how do you, what do you think about this chat? Does this look good? Oh my god, it's so filthy. He breaks the ice, this guy murders, murders this guy. Murders him. Oh no wait, no this is bad, because now I take grid damage. I don't know. I don't know why I thought that guy was gonna be stunned. Unacceptable. I still like this play though. Still like that, still like this. Just don't like this anymore. I need to let him do his thing. I'm just gonna put a freeze on uh, on this building and take this shot. Or I could, uh, I could just fire the tank and just block a spawn here, and then just take this shot. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do that, actually. Yeah. Block a spawn, sounds good, this is better. Ah, my shield! Ugh. Somebody help! 
Don't. Ah, oh, why you gotta be? Come on, man. Why you gotta be a dick? Jeez. Jeez. Come on. Oh my god. Uh, let's see here. Help me, Billy. I need you to clone yourself and make an Overwatch group I can play with so I can have teammates with an IQ higher than 50. An Overwatch group? I've never... I played a little bit Overwatch. You don't want me in your Overwatch group. I'm fucking terrible. I'm garbage. 100% USDA certified garbage. I'm a filthy casual. I get the struggle though. I can't I can help with some potato aim, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy with you. I'm gonna I kinda wanna I wanna freeze this guy with you. Block this spawn with you, block that spawn with you, repair. So we know we know for a fact now that th this damage on the tank does not count towards our mech damage. Who did who did you main? Um, I've played it like a little bit. Who's the guy that like? Probably the guy that I was best at was the was the skater dude that like uses sound to heal and do AOE buffs and shit. Uh, that guy. I don't remember what his name is. Actually, that was a character when I first played Overwatch. That wasn't even a character. But then I, that character got introduced. Uh, I don't know what that, his name is, though. I can block three freaking spawns right now. Which is pretty cool. Lucio, yep. That's him. But the most recent time that I played, that that guy had like just been introduced, and I played him, and that was uh, it was okay. But yeah, I mean, it. you know, it's really, uh, it's kind of a, it's a, it's, it's rough because it's like, there's all kinds of games that I'd like to play. Uh, Overwatch is not one of them, to be perfectly honest, but uh, there's all kinds of games that I would just love to be playing. This is one of them, like uh, Into the Breach, I would, I'd like loving and playing this. It's like, I want to play Slay the Spire. I want to play through, I still, and I, it's like, I have these single player games that I want to play, like uh, Witcher and uh monster hunter and uh and i want to play escape from tarkov as well and i don't know it's it's uh it's great that i have stuff that i have a drive to play let me tell you because sometimes a lot of times i don't you already asked me like a month and a half ago i was struggling to want to play slay the spire but right now i'm loving it Fair enough, Elias. Yeah, I'm like super, like I, I am definitely a very super competitive person. No matter what kind of game I'm playing, it doesn't matter if I'm playing something that's like, it, it doesn't matter if I'm playing like Tharsis. Like if I'm playing Tharsis, I'm still a com just a competitive motherfucker. Like I can't help it. I just really want to win at every game, in every angle, in every avenue that I possibly can. Cause I want, I like it. I like winning. I like the challenge. Uh, so it's like if I played when I played Counter Strike, I was super competitive. But I always try to be super positive with it. Cause one of the reasons, one of the big things for me personally, is like 
growing, not, well, growing up kind of, uh, in, in playing like Counter-Strike 1.6 and, and I, like a little bit more like the casual nature of Counter-Strike back in those days. Uh, like some of the s servers that you'd play on, because you'd, you'd be playing on servers with other people like regulars uh, and stuff like that. And you'd be kind of, it would just be about the communities more so than the competitive nature of Counter-Strike. But when, com when you play Counter-Strike competitively, like... It, it, or if you play with people that are competitive in the game, typically, they're like really fucking toxic, like a lot of people are, which is really just unfortunate, because it's like, if you're if you're just a fucking noob at the game trying to figure out how the hell things work, and like, you just get you just get shit on by like these other people that are better at the game than you not, I don't mean like they, they are they, they outperform you, but shit on but I mean like they treat you like shit because you're not good at the game, and it's like man, don't you know you were here too at one point, it's like I'm trying, god Damn it! I'm trying. Worst part about those games is being a completionist. See, I'm not a completionist at all. I do not get any sent. Like, I do not 100% games. When we did our playthrough of Ocarina of Time, uh, and Final Fantasy VII last year, like these are games that I've played a ton. Like I've played through each of them, like. 20 plus times and like I do not uh I do not like 100% those games like I do a lot of shit I do I do but it's like as soon as I lose interest I'm just done you know they're a bore knowing how to play Counter-Strike obviously duh yeah so are you like some other streamers who play games in your free time or is this enough of a job that you never look at game when you're away from work that's a good question Pelleran and it's a tough it's a tough for me to answer because there's there's periods of time where I will absolutely not even like I, I normally like right I, I used to come home from work and, and stream and play video games I play video games a ton I mean I man that was like the heyday of DayZ like I'd come home from work and I'd play DayZ for 12 fucking hours a day after working an 8 hour shift and I would sleep for 4 hours and I'd go back to work like <laughs> actually <laughs> I, I used to be able to perform on very little sleep at managing the restaurant because it was like I'd done it for so long, for 10 years, that I could do it with not much sleep because I just autopilot, just just know what to do. Know how to order all the stock that we need because I've been doing it for so long, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, um, uh, so like playing games after I got out of work or, or like when I'm done I sometimes I do when I'm streaming and sometimes I don't usually I don't like play any video games off stream because it's it's changed my perspective of video games they're not as much of a, of a method of me winding down as they used to be but uh, so they, they get in like I've been uh, I haven't like on the weekend, I'll, I'll play like Tarkov or, or this, that, or the other thing. What's up, Cleon? How you doing today? Never watched your Battleground streams, Billy. How's that going? I haven't played Battlegrounds in a long, long time. I played on Sunday for the first time like this year, uh, and I didn't really enjoy it very much, to be honest. I think the thing that like killed me for Battlegrounds was trying to play it competitively. Like I played in a on a competitive team for a while that the loose had put together, and it's no fault of anybody's other than just uh, like I just don't I don't I don't look at the game the same way that I did before, and like because of that, like I, I'm just I have a like. Like I, like I said, I'm super competitive in games, and when I get on like that kind of competitive level for a game, like I can't play it any other way and because I can't play it that way anymore like I don't really I don't really enjoy it as much you know do I do you ever get sick of streaming just curious well uh yes and no sometimes I do but uh I don't know it's it's definitely can be a struggle sometimes for me personally Unlocked your first FTL pilot today. Found Ariadne. Nice, awesome, Cleon. That's great. Battlegrounds are like a certain uh, extent, but it's so random. I have a hard time viewing it seriously. Sure. Defend the robots. Protect the robotics lab. Okay, we can do that. So for me, it's like. So as far as do you do you get sick of streaming? Just curious. Like, I don't know. 
about about a month and a half or two months ago, I was in a pretty uh, I was pretty I was in a pretty shit place as far as this, as far as figuring out. I was like about ready to about ready to stop streaming. To be perfectly honest, um, or I was I was considering it at the very least because things weren't weren't going very well. I mean things aren't going like amazing for me uh at the moment or anything like that but i was i don't know i was pretty pretty down about how things were going this is a pretty nasty group of enemies i really hope they step on some of these freaking mines but uh i don't know i've been doing a lot better this last uh this last month and stuff like that yeah that's uh that's true i suppose velius um, I mean, it's the thing, the thing with streaming is right, is it's, it's a, it is a, it's, it's a job you're, you're self-employed, right? So you have to be self-motivating. Um, and you have to, you have to, you know, do your own, you have to do everything yourself. Right. Not that there aren't other people that are that have your back and are there to help you. And because, I mean, I would absolutely not be here streaming. I mean, not, not even to mention all of the great people on Twitch. But if it weren't for Kuro, I just fucking wouldn't be able to be here for not only like mentally, but also financially and just all that stuff. Um, uh, this is this. These two are going to suck. This is going to be terrible. This is bad. Um, I don't know. Should I have you somewhere else? Should I have you down here or something? I don't know if it matters. I think I should have somebody down here. Because that way you can come over here uh, and then, like, do a shot and hopefully hit somebody over here. Let's actually do it like this. So that way, hopefully, you come here and then you go here or something. You can come here and shoot both ways and free both those guys up. I don't know if that's how it's actually going to work, but I don't know. We'll fucking see. Uh, that sounds like a vague plan, though. But, yeah. No, it's, uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's rough to get over some mental hurdles. Just to, that's, just, that's just life, though, right? Sometimes it's not, it's not always a walk in the park. Sometimes it's a struggle to be, uh, to stay motivated. Well, this isn't exactly what I was hoping for, but... None of them stepped on ice. <laughs> Which is... This sucks. Um, okay. I think we, I think we have, uh, have a plan here, though. I think we, we can do some stuff. Doing games that I've never gave a second glance at when they were released, mostly from watching your content. Cool, Velius. Well, I'm uh, I'm glad that I'm glad that I could have an impact uh, on you in a positive way. You know, that means a lot to me. Okay, so I think we're gonna use you to punch you, which is gonna kill you and knock you and have send you down into the ground. Right? Okay. I wonder if I want to even do anything about you. I might just let you take the shot and then freeze this guy. I don't know. It's probably better. Oh, wait. No, I might need to do that. No, wait. I don't know because I don't need to stop your attack. I do need to stop your attack. So that means I do need to knock you away and I need to move you back here and then freeze this guy and then the shield will stop me from getting frozen. What is the snake worm one? The snake is uh, is an alpha burrower, and so he, what he does is if he takes any damage at all, he burrows. And uh, but he does a, a three wide attack, though. So I think I like this play. I guess one problem here is that I end up shooting my own guy here. But I don't think that I can stop that. I don't think that there's a way for me to not do that. I don't think so. And this is dealing two damage, right? So we're, we're not killing our dude or anything. So. He is pretty nasty. Okay. Good. Looks good to me. I 
I would imagine the worm's gonna show up either here or here. The only way that I can deal with this guy is by freezing him with you. So that means I need to deal with these other guys in some other fashion. I might need to take this fucking grid hit, which is terrible. Uh, let's see. Because I don't. If I come over here and I shoot you, then I hit this building as well, which is obviously bad. I can I can get you to go down. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't reach you. I don't have... My rocket fist doesn't have the range on it. Two, three, four, five. That would just get you frozen. You're attacking that building as well. Wow. This is, uh, this is a pretty rough scenario. This guy basically can only... He can stop you, though. So can you do anything? You can't... You can't... No. No. So I freeze you, shoot you, kill you, and then take that damage. We are wind streaking, Nitto King. Yeah, we're continuing a file that we were doing that we started yesterday. Love watching you effortlessly navigate hard mode when I can't even do Island Four on easy. I got the help. I got. I got. Uh, I got everybody else helping me out too. Uh, white shoes, white shoes. So, but I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoy, man. I'm glad. Uh, glad I could be here for you. It's my pleasure. Thanks for the like and the retweet, Stony. Thank you for the like and the retweet from Kubrak as well. Thank you so much for helping spread the word of the stream, up and let people know that we do in fact exist on our little corner of the internet. A little corner. Mm. It's a chat win streak. That's right. Crowdsource solutions. Yeah, that's uh, that's our industry name. Crowdsource solutions. That's right. I think I'm gonna have to take that two grid damage and it sucks, but uh, I think them's just gonna be the breaks. And you know what? We got 22% grid damage. That's basically 100% grid defense. Never mind, they're all dead. Deep space waifu? What? Uh, what? Okay, this guy's attack is completely useless, so that's awesome for me. That's great. Okay, this is uh, this is good. This is great. Fantabulous. Fantabulous. This is great. It's awesome. Steam is such a dumpster nowadays. I don't think that's f a fair assessment. I don't think that's a fair assessment, Kaisal. I'd say that Steam is a free market in which anything, in which things are that are uh, that you may not necessarily think are good can succeed because they have, you know, they are uh, they're weird little they're weird little niche filled. Okay, I have a pretty great turn here. Pretty perfect turn, in fact, you might say. Yeah, that's 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 uh, that's fair. That's fair. It is difficult. So we're going to kill you. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to fire like this. But before we do that, aha! Uh, we're going to uh, freeze this building so that way it doesn't take any damage. 
when we knock this guy into it, and it'll kill him because this guy's armor is going to be removed from him. So that's a pretty good turn as far as I'm concerned. Not bad. Not bad. Wow. Well, they really get mad about the early access games that rob people's cash and they never finish the games. Yeah, I this is that's definitely a topic I could talk for quite a while about. It's definitely like a it's definitely like an issue in the gaming market today, in my opinion. It's not necessarily even that, like, like some developers might do that kind of shit maliciously. Velius managed to get the trusted arms. No new equipment achievement on Flame Behemoths. I think uh, I like these fire dudes. Cool, Nido King. Nice. So, I mean, here's here's my thing on like early access games, is like. It's, it's not always necessarily done in, in a malicious fashion, but man, it is like just ridiculous that uh, like I feel like it's when developers, when programmers were like where, when they do not have a clear timeline and they're not forced to complete a project and make tough decisions based on what uh, based on like the development process or whatever like what uh, okay so it's like say say that you have you have red dead redemption 2 coming out this year and it's like okay our release date is this we ha we want we want to have you be to be able to ride a horse we want you to be able to shoot a gun we want you to be able to steal horses we want you to be able to rob banks and we want you to be able to drive around clown cars. Okay. So it's like, okay, well, you have to have your release done by July. Well, if we do that, we can't do all of these features that we want. And it's like, okay, well, how about instead, uh, how about you cut out the clown cars? No, clown, I'm not talking about clown carriages. I'm talking about clown cars. All right. So it's like, the issue I, I think in, in in game development can be that they can't make the tough call to like cut out something that is like a part of their vision for the game. And like I say clown cars, and that's ridiculous because it wouldn't be in Red Dead Redemption 2. But I'm just making a point that when a developer says that they're going to they have plans for some sort of a feature in a game. Um, and then they have early access. That feature is not a part of the game. Right? And then they don't... And then and they, they, like... They, they have the game in early access, so they've, like, sold copies of the game. They have money in their pockets... And like they have all of these features that they've that they've wanted to do for their release of the game, which is great because like that's part of their original vision of the game. But like if they don't include that into the final product, then like the fans are all like, "Fucking goddammit! Why didn't you? Why didn't you have? Why don't you? Why didn't you include clown cars in the game? You said that was the whole reason that I pre-ordered your game was because it was gonna have clown cars in it." And, and it's just like, well, shit, I'm sorry. They're, but they're like, but we paid you for your clown cars. That's not, I want my clown cars. So like, it, it's, it's, it's a ridiculous me saying those things. But I feel like when a developer has like, they promise the world. They get, you prom, you have, you have Peter Molyneux up on, you, they get Peter Molyneux, people do. And myself included, because they want they want all these features. And the thing is, is like, in the, at the end of the day, you don't have to have all of the features in order to have a great game. 
And maybe your game isn't going to be the greatest. And maybe you could just make a fucking playable game. But you got to cut, you got to cut the fucking fat off of your game to make it, to make something good. You know what I mean? I'm sure that Justin and Matt making Into the Breach, you know, had a lot, some ideas for the game that maybe didn't end up making it. But then again, they, they didn't have any any kind of an announcement other than they said, okay, the game's gonna be out now. Like the, for a long time, the game's release date was just when it was done. So like they took their time and got all the features that they felt were important to the game and got them implemented. And this game is fucking fantastic. It's like a testament to like really amazing, uh, like to, to ta amazing tactics games. Like, it, this is like a love letter to, like, tactics games. It's nuts. Like, it's just really, really fantastic. So it's, so it's like they've, uh, but, like, when you get a game like, uh, when you get a game like DayZ, where it's like, okay, well, they, they want to, they, they promise, like, you, you're going to be able to do all these things, and then they don't, and then they don't let you, and then, and then they haven't implemented something and people just bitch you up a storm, and they go, Wee! and they don't get their fucking thing, and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna... I'm gonna play some Into the Breach. If, if chat, if you would like to discuss this further, I would be more than happy to. <laughs> Because it is a topic that I am super fucking... Who is calling me? I can't answer the phone. Stop calling me. God damn it. Everybody's calling me today. Ugh. All right. How much coffee did you drink? I am, I am uh, less than halfway through my one cup of coffee. I just get worked up about that shit because because it's like when when you have when you when you when you have like a a product that you've sold before it's complete and you have all of these promises like as a developer I'm sure like the pressure is fucking on to get like all of those features implemented especially when you have Kickstarter kind of situations where where you like where you have these Kickstarter goals and then it's like okay wow if we had an extra hundred thousand dollars we could implement this other thing and it's like I ha I fucking yeah if you had unlimited time but at the end of the day you have to fucking release a product in a somewhat timely fashion and that extra feature that you just like asked for an extra hundred thousand dollars to complete might not be completable in five fucking years so it's like maybe you should wait and like not promise anything see what comes like but if you don't if you don't sell the product how the fuck are you gonna get people to buy it right so it's just it's it's rough it's rough out there in the game development world i get it Okay, I don't know anything about game development. I don't know anything about programming, but what I do know is Car Hammer dropping the 50 bomb. People call it you. It must be your birthday. Happy birthday, Kappa. It's not my birthday. As a software developer, I feel your pains. Like I, but I, what I do know is that like people want to make other people happy. A lot of people do. I got, I'm getting like fucking four texts now. Jesus Christ, hang on, there might be something important. Dude, Core Hammer, we better get some hearts and chats to thank Core Hammer so much for the $50 freaking tip. Oh my God, now my, now my phone's playing music. Hang on. What the fuck? Where's my texts? Show me my texts. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. I got like four 
texts all in a row and I was like, oh my God, is there an emergency? What's going on? Okay, seriously, Core Hammer, thank you so very much for the $50 tip. That is insane, dude. I am I I don't want to let you make you think that I'm not super thankful, but I'm just kind of, I'm kind of worked up, okay? Thank you so much. I really, all the freaking love, Core Hammer. Seriously, that's a crazy amount of money. It just, just all the love. All the love. Okay. I really appreciate it. Oh, so very much. Why? Call, it's your birthday. It's not my birthday, though. It's definitely not my birthday. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah! Estimating effort for software is more difficult than writing the damn code. It's, like, impossible. It's gotta be. Uh, you ever watch Silicon Valley, the scene where the head of the big bad company is asking for ideas? One guy's like, we can make remotely powered devices that run off uh, piezoelectric properties. Holy shit, when will that be ready? Well, it's theoretically possible, maybe 10 years. Yeah, no shit. God damn it. It's... <sighs> chat. It's not, my, it's not my birthday, chat. When is my birthday? It's not, it's not now is when it is. It's not right now. For reasons. It's in July. It's, uh, it w all of our, all of our, like, big celebration stuff for the stream is, like, right around the same time. Like, June, June 1 is our, um, stream anniversary. That's, June 1 is gonna be our... Good. Is it our seventh year on Twitch? No way. Is it really seven? I think it's seven years on Twitch. June 1st. That I, I think. Get, click on... What's up, Alex? How you doing today? Let's see. What's, what, is my, does, what does my Twitch name say? Created February 12th. Okay, no. It's my sixth... Sixth year. Sixth year on Twitch. Sixth. Um... Just curious on those things. All right, listen, Aki Bob. All right, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm beginning to think you you might want my information for some, for some uh, for some malicious purposes. And uh, God damn it, um, June June first is my what what we kind of have our is our stream anniversary, and then July first. Is our sub uh, is our anniversary of getting our sub button? That'll be the second year. No, yeah, second year of having uh, our sub button, right? Yeah. And um, and then and then July uh, is my then mid July is my birthday. Too bad they can't use this info for delicious purposes. Yeah. You're gonna steal my 50 bucks. Hey, man, that's the only 50 bucks I got. <laughs> that's not, that's not the only 50 bucks I got. I got like four 50 bucks. That's what, that's my, that's how much, that's what I got. Until my next Twitch paycheck comes in, <laughs> that's what I got to live on. All right. All right. Um,. Freeze and defend both robots. Robots, we can definitely do that. <sighs> oh, but anyway, um, as I was saying, what I what I was saying, what I do know is that people want to make other people happy. I know this. I mean, I, I, whatever. Like people, generally speaking, aren't 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 too shit. Pre pretty pretty nice. Pretty awesome. People just in generally speaking, maybe that's pretty general, but you know, I don't want to have you here because if he, if he throws a spider web here, then it tangles me and him together and that sucks pretty bad. So I can do that. We'll have you spawn next to each other. Um, but at the restaurant that I managed, like the way back in the day, uh, at the restaurant, the owner, like the menu was very small. Like when the restaurant first opened, there were like 
there were like 10 things on the menu. How's your Wednesday going, Dr. Math? I hope you're having a fan freaking test day. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Um, and, and so the menu was super small, but the owner like wanted to make uh, like cu customers would be like, wow, if you, if you had this on the menu, that would be really great. Like I would order that all the time. And so like, and, and so he would be like, oh, well, what do you want? Well, we, I want a, I want a burrito. Like, but we don't, they don't make burritos. Well, well, I mean, it'd be great if you make burrito. Okay, well, let's add a burrito to the menu. Okay, so, well, with a burrito, now we need tortilla shells. We need uh, seasoned, seasoned beef. We need uh, enchilada sauce. We need Colby cheese. These are all things that the restaurant did not previously have in stock at all. So now we have all of these other things on top of the things we had before. And so like times that times like a um, fucking 50. And then now suddenly you have this absolute fucking monstrosity of a menu because he just wants to make people happy because they like come in and they want... They want a burrito, or they want a taco, or they want uh, they want pizza, they want subs, uh, which uh, you know, and all these other things, and and then you end up with like this, you end up with like a lot of okay things, maybe a couple of great things, and then like a lot of like not so great stuff, right? You like sacrifice quality for quantity, and it's and it's not is nowhere near as good like it's way better to have a mu me much smaller menu um and um and and like have the few things that you have be amazing like really great fresh you know just whatever <sighs> Day nine talked about this issue and know how people how, how people ask this and what they actually want. When he stopped doing fun day Mondays, there was a huge outcry from fans, and yet ratings showed that it was his least watched day of the week. The disconnect is a curious phenomenon. Well, for sure, yeah. I, I mean, that's. I mean, but the people the 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 people who outcry aren't necessarily the majority because I mean that's just the nature of that's like the nature of like Twitch. I have not gotten all the achievements yet, Alex. I'm sorry. I'm, I know I'm, like, ranting like crazy. What's up, Kratosh? Um, like, people that are that are really um, vocal on, on in Twitch chat aren't the majority. Most people, most, like, you know, I don't know how many people are here right now. A hundred people, right? How many chatters do we have right now? I don't know, like 20? Right? So the majority of you are, like, not doing anything. Or, or, well, you're not. You're just watching the stream. You're hanging out. You're drinking coffee. That's what I do when I watch streams. Like, you know, you sit back. You're snacking on something. You're watching the stream in the background, working on work, blah, blah, blah. So, like, that's the majority of your of your viewing audience. And, and so the people that are vocal in chat aren't the majority of but you want to make everybody happy as a streamer and i want to do that you know uh, i certainly do so it's fucking hard to make decisions um uh it's hard to make decisions based on chat recommendations sometimes because you know in in the back of my mind i know well i don't know like you know you just have to like you just have to test stuff out and see a lot of the times because a lot of times you don't know like i i didn't fucking like have any idea that i was gonna like my summer car for example and it wasn't like an amazing game viewer wise but like it was really fun and it was really interesting and i thought i think that it was certainly like a very positive uh, portion of of my stream history and i would certainly never take it back but it's like i never fucking thought it was gonna be like something that would be interesting and fun or whatever you know what i mean so it's just like you just gotta try shit and just and and see and like take stuff away and bring it back and see how things work if gordon ramsay's in and out and my chef partner have taught me anything it's do only a few things and do them well yeah i mean that's definitely the best way to do it to start and i mean you can do 
a pretty wide menu and do it well. But it's not it's, it's not easy. Shit ain't easy, man. Shit ain't easy. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning. I'm just planning my next move very carefully. I'm planning my, like I said, I'm planning my life moves very care, <laughs> very carefully right now. This is kind of a tough spot. This is a bit tough. Let's see here. Can you move one, two, three, four, five? Okay, we're good. This is this isn't too bad at all. Boom. Easy peasy. Well, let's go. Her menu is four apps, four entrees, four sides, three desserts. That's it. And that's a great way to do it. That's a that's a really fantastic way to go about it as far as I'm concerned. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, you're kind of tangled up back here. Um, you can come over here and kill that guy. You can freeze this guy. And you can freeze this guy, I guess, and stand on that. And then you, you'd have to kill this. Or... Or, I could get my acid tank out. Nah, I don't think it's worth it. To say out they are, they are a billion streamer when I joked about him having the game pause for so long and... Vo uh, innovative strategy. Just never unpause the game. The zombies are frozen forever in time. It came out worse than I intended. I mean, it's it's really difficult, Bellius, as, as a streamer to like... Uh, uh, some, sometimes, like, shit just piles up and, and it's... Uh, and, it, and it just ends up being like... Like, you just happen to be the guy that, like, broke the fucking straw. You know what I mean? Like, that happens. And, and it's uh, and it's not hard to, like, be the one that, like... Because, cause may... you know, I'm just saying, like... Uh, you you might have been, like, the guy that, that, like, said that... Like, the 50th time or, or something like that. Or made some kind of a comment that, like, rubbed him the wrong way. It's possible. Yeah, the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. I I know that that's the term, but I'm just saying like sometimes, you know, I'll you know, I'll I'll see somebody come in chat and type something, whatever, and uh, whatever. It doesn't even have to be like bad. It just might be something that just like sticks in in my brain, you know? And then it's just like, well, son of a bitch. <laughs> And then, and then they, you, know, you hear it enough, and then it's just like, all right, I've had enough of your shit, chat! <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Your jokes get taken seriously too often just because I hate Kappa emotes and don't use them with the jokes. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely like uh, Kappa's a pretty pretty weird thing for sure it's definitely uh a little bit more often than uh than people the than uh, than than i'd like or whatever like it's not not around here typically but people people use kappa as like a vehicle to like to get away with saying really stupid shits but uh 
But I mean, it's text. It's hard to interpret, you know? Ah, uh, shit. I didn't. I shouldn't have done that. That's fine, whatever. I should have killed that guy. It doesn't matter. Whatever. What can I do here? I was just kidding, bro, of emotes. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I've definitely... Uh... Oh, no! Oh, f fuck. I didn't... Uh, I forgot. I forgot that was my obje objective. I could have very easily just refrozen the fucking robe, or I could have frozen that guy. Oh, uh, whatever. I wasn't... I wasn't paying attention. Was not paying attention. Rip Perfect Island. God damn it. Alright, well, shit. What do we got? Heavy rocket. <clears throat> it's a pretty useful weapon. Pretty strong. Could use it. Maybe. Can you stack freezes? No, but I could have frozen the, uh... I could have frozen that... That... Uh, that dude. I didn't have to freeze the other guy. The other guy was attacking us some bullshit, like pointless thing. Some other random enemy that I froze that didn't make any difference. So, like, I could have frozen that guy. Yeah, I could have fr frozen the scorpion, right? Exactly. Alternatively, I could have just taken the shot from the scorpion and had myself be frozen, and then I wouldn't have taken any fucking damage. Like, these are all, these are all perfectly acceptable options. I just, like, did that without, uh, thinking. So. Whoops. Chat, chat's always making the, uh, 300 IQ plays. So much for Perfect Island, well. I think we'll be all right. Holy butts. What's up, Smite? How you doing today? Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Good hump day. Ooh. Nice triple. Nice triple. Okay, your attack is pointless. Uh, you, I need to stop you. Oh boy. Please do not, please do not assimilate my cultural and technological Shenanigans. Don't, 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 please, no. Let's see, what's the best play here? I don't have to kill this guy, but I really want to. I 
really want to. Cap, cap assimilate your existence. <laughs> oh fuck. That is, anything for that. <laughs> Please do not, please do not cap assimilate anything. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that sounds terrible. Um, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We could rocket punch that guy and we could destroy this thing in the process. And I could move you over here afterwards and then shoot an acid tank, push you over here, and then you could just shoot. You could actually move all the way down here and then shoot this guy. And then he's at one, and you're blocking a spawn, and blah, blah, blah. And then we have an acid tank on the field, and this guy's dead, so he's not spawning more spidery dues. Yeah. I think the Borg are absolutely uh, an absolutely phenomenal enemy. And then the movie happened, and I just can't... Like, the movie itself, like, as an action movie, is pretty cool. Like, pretty fun, right? Wait, does this do one damage to myself now? Why am I doing two damage to myself? I should only be doing one. Because it's pushing me into that, right? Why am I taking two? Or does it does that does that push upgrade deal two damage to myself? No, it doesn't say it does damage to myself. You've never watched the Borg the 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 next gen movie with the Borg? Yeah, that's probably for the best. I still don't know why I'm taking double damage here. I have no fucking idea. Is it because it's it's is it because it's counting this guy's damage on me? Force amp, no. Oh, it's got to be counting that damage on me, I guess. I have no fucking idea. E6 snake attack. Right, I understand, but why is it counting it on this? It's it's telling me, like, I'm taking two damage from doing this action. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's move this guy out of the way. Let's, uh... Block a spawn, get that guy down. All right, looks good. Ugh. Oh. I don't. As far as I'm concerned, and the in the in, in how the Borg work on in in the uh, in the Star Trek universe, I I do not like the direction that I don't like the I don't I don't like for myself. <laughs> like I just don't want to count the movie, and I don't want to count Voyagers. Um, you know, yeah, just not no. Just rather leave it off with where next because where next gen went with it was like phenomenal. It's great. Like I just don't wanna I just don't wanna count that shit. So what I'm here's what I'm thinking. Uh hmm. No, I can't stop how do I stop this guy's attack? I could turn you around. It's fine, I guess. Voyagers can, I don't care what you say. 
Where's your butts? That's what I say. You know what's you know what is actually gonna be better? We're just gonna take this hit. I'm gonna freeze this guy. I'm gonna come over here, kill you with you. And then I'm going to put acid on this guy, and then I'm just going to punch him to death. And he's just going to die. Is what's going to happen. That's what's that's what we're doing here. I like that Voyager dealt with story concerning the Borg home territory, personally. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen, like, all of Voyager, so... But I know it's, like, some of the stuff that happens, and I, I don't know. I just feel like... Like the whole idea of the Borg being a like a just a a super like th being the threat that they are perceived in uh, in next gen is like really great, especially like the when the Borg are introduced and stuff like that in that Q episode. Yeah, it was really great. <clears throat> okay, so here's my play. This does, when I when I acid this guy, it's going to push him here, but you can still move here and then punch him. Oh, no, wait, then I hit my building. Ah, hmm. Well, I guess I have to do it from the front then, which is totally fine. Or I could go on the other side. Yeah, that rocket punch pushes me into that uh, building, which is bad. Uh Yeah, that's a really great next gen episode. I think I'm going to take this point of hold this point of damage here. Okay, I'm gonna freeze you. Take this hit on my shield. This guy's gonna be covered in acid, which is pretty sweet. Great. My guy's a one one hole here, but that's fine. Okay. That yeah, the acid tank is really quite good. Very very nice. So I can punch this guy to death. Just gotta move you out of the way. And I can move over here, double shoot these guys, moves you onto a spawn here. Kills you. And uh, I don't know. I guess that's fine. You're just gonna, you're just gonna. I don't know what. I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can just go over here. Sounds good. You could freeze that guy, but it's really not any good. Alright. John Delancey has been in any good movies? Uh, Kuro would know. Kuro knows that kind of stuff, but I don't know off the top of my head.
I guess, actually, you're the one that needs kills. So is there any way that I can get a kill with the acid tank? I could come over here and, like, shoot this guy into you. I guess. Is that is that better for my experience on this character? Okay. It's, like, worse overall, kind of. But, like, if this guy gets both kills, he doesn't need any fucking experience, right? So I guess it's better for this experience on this character. So I think we're just going to do that. Should the acid tank and push it closer? Well, I wanted I wanted to get the have the acid tank get a kill, so that way that the the ranged uh, class here gets more experience, you know. I don't have a science one, uh, dude. So we can't use that teleporter really. Could have done that split shot tank double bot kill. I couldn't move him like on that far. Like I would have to have moved both of them. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, well. Nah, cause, uh, cause if I do the shot with the double shot tank to move him into the position next to him, he, uh, it, that shot only does two damage. So it doesn't, the other shot does four, which is what allowed him to go to one. So I don't think that would have worked, but yes, indeed there is. Yeah, yeah, there's uh there's a stone, there's a, there's a rockman, there's a mantis and there's a Zoltan too. Maybe one of the, I mean, that's a, that's one of the things with like Star Trek, as far as like the actors go, like uh, a lot of them like kind of don't, don't end up doing a whole lot of other stuff. Even if they're really fantastic actors, like, uh, but, but the fact is, is like uh, the act, a lot of the actors and actresses can just go to conventions for the rest of their life, <laughs> pretty much because like the Star Trek fan base is is so large and so hardcore that they can just like go to conventions and, and make a livable income for the rest of uh, rest of their uh, career right i mean certainly uh there are exceptions but uh but uh, it's, but a lot of times they end up not uh, not doing a whole lot of other stuff Yeah, exactly, Hollywood Samurai. I think we're going to sell this heavy rocket, and I'm going to get this thing equipped. Just as an emergency. The, the oh shit, please don't lose kind of plan, you know? This is certainly good, and it gives this, uh, this unit an option an angle of attack that it does not currently have. Um, so this might be better. It does require a lot more power to get online though. I haven't seen Enterprise. Not well. That's not true. I haven't seen all of Enterprise. I stopped watching Enterprise. I don't really care for it. It does, you know, we can upgrade it to doing uh, six points uh, or uh, five points of damage, which is very strong, but it is a line shot. It's not an arcing shot.
Fair enough. Fair enough, Elias. I mean, it's it's on my list of shit to watch, but I just, that list is so absurdly long. Small grid damage with that gun. This this gun is much less likely to do grid damage than this gun. And the ability to push units like that is extremely powerful. So it's a very, very strong weapon. I just don't know if, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna want it or not. I, I still have another island to go. Though. What is this projectile? Does it give it a, an alternative shot or something? Oh, it turns its shield shot, its shield into a uh, uh, into a projectile. I see, I see. All right, we don't need that. Well, I don't like it. Doesn't actually have any range to it by default. Yeah, fair enough, Elias. Yeah, I, I've I've seen Breaking Bad a few times. The whole the whole thing. Yeah, I like that show quite a bit. So I think we're gonna sell this. We're gonna get two reactor. I'm gonna put one reactor into the critical shields. One reactor into the gain shield, maybe? Wouldn't be terrible. Or I could give you plus move. Plus move is definitely quite good. I'll give you the shield, though. I am the one who crits. I am the one who crits. Okay. Do I need to power that? No. If I don't if I don't power that, I get gain shield and move. like that better right now we'll get that other thing upgraded for the final mission the only thing that i would replace that with is that plus one move for adjacent units that ability is fucking ridiculous defend the train protect the coal plants all right let's let's defend the train four unknown enemies that's a lot of acid though that is a lot of acid like holy butts that's a lot of acid If I put a unit here, he is absolutely uh, going to lock lock onto it. So I don't know if I want to do that. Let's do this. This guy's gonna shoot his uh, whatever, whatever Bob probably right here. Yeah. Okay. He's not even attacking. He's not attacking either. We can freeze the tank if we want to. Or the train, rather, excuse me. I might move here and just freeze this guy. Kill this thing. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with you. It's hard to use you right here. I can move you here and shoot and kill this guy. Actually, I know I wouldn't kill you, but... Did you hear the United Airlines move bonuses and instead gave the employees lottery instead? Well, that sounds terrible. Corruption in airlines? What kind of wackadoo shenanigans are you talking about?
The problem with doing that, remember, is that it pushes it into the building, which is pretty bad. Right? So it's like if we fire... Oh, we wouldn't want to do that there, but... So if we do if we do that shot, see how it pushes it into the building and I take grid damage? How would I describe Into the, into the Breach's replay value, Billy? Uh, I would say that there are... Uh, would it just... How, how many squads are there? There's 11 to 10, 11 squads, and you can customize the squads in any combination. So if you have, if, you, if, you, if you're looking for replayability, that gives you a pretty wide variety of units that you get to play as, right? So, I mean, what, a, what a, how, how many combinations is that? Like hundreds or something? More than a hundred? I don't know, I don't know. Um, but it's a lot. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a million, chat. That's like infinity. I actually like this better. It's like infinity. And then so you, so you do your shot from... I kind of like shooting from here, even though it gets you covered in acid, because it kind of lures this guy to do this. Vo no, no, he, he he's gonna attack the tank probably anyway. Thirty-three units. Thirty-three times thirty-three times thirty-three. Yeah, it's like a bajillion. Lack of replayability seems to be primary comp complaint in reviews I've read. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, I think that. I'm not sure what people, like, expected out of this game. But this is, like, everything that I hoped that End of the Breach was. Like, it's me it's met my expectations, and my expectations were super fucking high for this game. But I'm a End of the Breach fan. I'm a, I'm a Subset Games fanboy, so I don't know what... <laughs> you know, I'm sure... I'm sure just in a matter, like, why can't everybody just love the game like Billy does? And it's probably because I have, a, I don't know, I've, I'm just blind to the problems that, that might actually be a part of the game. I don't know. They expected FTL 2, but it is, eh, eh, I guess, <laughs> maybe. I think I'm gonna shoot my acid tank and then just shove him right into the acid. I think I like that play quite a bit. And I could kill this guy, so we stop getting these stupid things. We go over here, actually. Maybe do this shot. All right, let's let's do this. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go over here. Let's do my rocket. Why are you taking two damage? Why does it say that I'm taking two damage? That's a glitch. You see that, chat? It said that I'm taking two damage, but there's nothing attacking me. Like, that that ability does not cause me to take greater damage. And so I do not understand... Why? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, as, as far as, like, the, a game being, like, FTL, like, FTL is, and for me, like, one of the best games ever made, and it's, like, the best strategy game, like, ever. Uh, like, the best real-time strategy game ever. And... So like how do you how do you strike lightning twice? Like they could have just they could have just like made FTL2. Like they could have just redone the game and like taken some changes and blah blah and implemented like what people were interested in and stuff uh of as far as FTL goes uh and and made it into an FTL2 like a bigger better version, but they wanted to do something that like they have a you know another thing that a different thing that they had a passion for obviously. Or it certainly seems like it. Like they're obviously huge fans of this. It have to be to create a game like like this. So, 
I mean, I don't know. It's just, this is like a great game for them to make. Shove him into the water. Right into the water with you. Pretty sure we're freezing the train. Pretty sure we're freezing the train right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need to stop one, two. Let's see. Oh uh, boy. Okay, let me think here. I might need to deal damage to my own grid, maybe. I thought they were FTL Studio, Billy. Yeah, I know, right? Should have blocked a spawn and then shot the acid tank. The problem is, is if I would have put my acid tank here and then shot him to the side, like it doesn't kill him, right? So I would, I like, I like eliminating a unit right there because that's a pretty nasty unit. Pretty annoying. My Billy! Oh, you know what? You can just shove this guy into the fucking water. Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. This is great. Oh, we're fine. Shit. Easy peasy. Alright. I mean, block the spawn with the freeze bot and then deploy the tank. Oh, sure. Yeah. I, I don't know why I didn't do that. I could have, though. You're right. Vec are not into pool parties, no. Uh, not the not the uh, ground ones. I could freeze him, but I, I think I'd rather just keep this low health unit alive. I could freeze him, too, but... Eh, Whatever. makes them harder to kill next turn. You got acid on you. <laughs> acid procs before damage, even if you're pushing unit into acid? I guess so. Well, he was already covered in acid, no. And it's, but, it, but yes, it does. Anyway. Uh, soul. Nano silos. Kill four enemies inflicted with acid. Protect the coal plant. All right. I think we could probably get that done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was covered in acid. Wasn't he? I thought, because there's acid all over the map. Like, tons of it. So... Okay. Look, we got an extra acid tank. Isn't that great? And when you mouse off him, it was just purple. That's why I was surprised. I think so anyway. Who knows? I have no idea. I don't know. Okay. Why build an acid-rich area? Because, uh... Um, you, 
Because that's... Because that's not your base of operations. You get it? It's a base? It's a chemistry joke. It's a really sh <laughs> fucking terrible one, but it's there. All right, how do I, how do I deal with all these units? All these units suck. I hate their stupid guts. That's a bad joke, Billy. I know, you're welcome. Ah, uh, okay, maybe I block you with you. I'm coming for you and Tarkov now. Woo boy! Oh, I got a play Tarkov if you want to come get my snake. <laughs> Thanks for the like on the Twitter for Speedy6. I appreciate it, man. All right, uh. I can move here. Or I could just attack, I could just move here and then like attack you, turn you around. And then have you attack, move back one tile and then attack. And I could move you somewhere I don't like I can move you on the spawn no I can't move you on the spawn I, that doesn't work not where I want because I want to have an acid tank go here and shoot you this way so that way you can come over here shoot this into you so that way it gets rid of this and then I need to but I need to move you back because otherwise your shots gonna be hitting that acid tank we don't want that that way I get I get a lot of units on the field that stops this guy's attack. I think this tank only has... Three move, not four. So I can't quite do that. If I shoot him into this position, then, then he can't... Uh... He can't move on the other side of him because he doesn't have flying. Needed PC in order to do that. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yeah. Word. Remember the tank of the field now does not push. Ah, shit, you're right. Ah, damn. Okay. Yeah, I thought it did push. It does not. You are correct. Okay, I gotta rethink that then. How much damage is this doing? Three? Not enough to kill this guy. Got your braces off today. Nice. That is like, I feel you. I, I know. I know how that goes. I had braces for many years. Uh, it's uh, quite the fucking relief. Although your teeth will adjust. You know, it's gonna be kind of feeling weird not having braces on. I certainly got very, very used to having braces on. It was very weird to not have them on. Only two more days till I order my new parts. Nice, Snake. Nice. Feckin' noise. Okay, I think we're gonna go with my other plan then, I guess.
So that means you're going to move here, and you're going to take that shot. You're going to launch a tank here. And push this guy over to, into this square to cancel out your attack. I need to deal with this somehow with either you or you. So you could come over here where this acid tank is and shoot and destroy that and deal a point of damage to you. Or you could do the same thing. Uh, let's, let's just do this. I, I think this is fine. So where I don't know where are you going? That's the question, I suppose. Um, so we cover this thing in acid. move uh, and then I move you here and then I do my rocket punch and then it pushes me back one so that way I don't take any damage okay I think this is fine so how's your run been so far uh, it's good we're continuing a run that we started yesterday and this gets me an acid kill one of my four that I require I think this is fine take this this attack but we have the shield on so we don't really care too much i still need to deal with this guy we have a lot of enemies on the field still i've only eliminated one basically not basically i've only eliminated one but it's it should be all right anyway hopefully i should probably get health up on this unit to be honest okay Okay, so his attack does not matter, as long as we get out of the way. We need to stop your attack. I need to stop this. Stop you, you, you. I might freeze this guy or something if I can. I don't know if I can, though. This is a pretty complex situation we got going on here, brother. I might just move you here and just freeze this guy. I need to still I still need to deal with both of these guys. I don't know how the fuck I'm doing that. I have no idea. Ah, okay. Um, I could come over here and do this attack. Freeze, uh, freeze building. Move him up one and then freeze. That, well, there, there's two attacking him. I think I might be able to do it without freezing the building. So, here's my play. I come over here and I do this attack on you. And that gives me a shield. And then I move the acid tank here, push this guy back one so his shot hits him. But he has the shield on, so that's fine.
That's st that is a good play though. That means that I don't have to use um that means that I don't have to use this guy to push that guy back and I could move you back and the freeze in the building. I could still do this play killing him with him and then I move you back one. That stops this guy's attack and freezes the building canceling out that guy's attack. So then I can use the acid tank to push this into you, destroying that, and then I could move you up so I could get you somewhere vaguely fucking relevant, I guess. Uh Maybe it's better to maybe it's better to freeze this. No, cuz then he's going to run me into the building and then we're going to take damage. It's going good, Dev. How you doing today, man? Do you think you will ever lose a run? I should have lost the fifth run in this in this one. It was really my own doing, but uh, I still should have lost it. This is uh, this lot. There's a lot going on in this stupid fights. Um, so I still like freezing that building. Then we can kill that guy, and then we acid shot this. I don't even have to run him into this guy, but I could. Sometimes you just get hosed in the stores enough times or if you don't if you make a mis yeah Like if, if you have a hundred percent like if you have perfect play then yeah, you, there's probably like a very Like low chance of you losing but it's still possible. I wish that I need to get this guy farther up like I need to move him up here I feel like What's up, Match? How you doing today? Hope you're having a fan freaking tastic Wednesday. This is okay. What's up, Storm? Welcome back. How you doing today, bud? I think this looks fine. This is like all right anyway. You don't get to shoot anything, but it's not that big of a deal. Move that out of the way. Freeze that building. Alright. Brownie with ice cream, so I'm good. Ooh, that sounds fantabulous. Alright. Okay, this turns a bajillion times easier than the last one, I think. I think. <laughs> the people on the freeze build die? Did the people on the freeze build die? What do you mean, did they die? What freeze? Like, this, this freeze build? Did, nobody's died on this run.
No, you don't have to. Like, you can win. Like, sometimes it's absolutely correct to go with fewer than four islands. There's no loss when freezing a build. No loss when freezing a build. I, I, I don't think I understand what you're asking. Free, yeah, free. Oh, the building. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the frozen building. Like, if the building's frozen and it takes a shot, it kind of acts like a shield. Right, so it it stops that damage. What, however much it is, it doesn't matter if it's one or five. Uh, it the freeze is the freeze acts like a shield for that one hit. If it gets hit multiple times, then the shield like right, then it takes the damage of whatever the second hit is. Same like a shield, but yeah, okay. I thought like the the build. I thought you're talking about like the units. Sorry, I got confused. Uh, yeah. So this guy's attack doesn't actually matter. I do need to stop his attack. I could move you here. No, I can't, because this thing's in the way. Okay, never mind. So this is a little bit more complicated, I guess. Keep doing islands so you no longer perfect them. Well, uh, I mean, it just depends. Just because you perfect one island, like, usually when you start to get the hang of the game and you're, and you're more aware of, like, how what the scaling difficulty is, not only for the volcanic island, but for each individual island, you should have a pretty, pretty decent idea as to, like, when you should stop or whatever. So I kind of feel like I could I could go here. I could I could go here. I could acid this guy with you maybe and then shoot. No, I don't need to acid. I could just push these guys out of the way and kill him. Even even pushing him one over, he'd run into the acid and die. Oh my god. All the units are super good at headbanging. You can just kill this guy. Easy peasy. I guess the question is, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the question I want to try and figure out. Left acid hits charger. Janus tank kill. He doesn't kill him if he's if he's acided. He takes four damage instead of two. But yeah, I might do that anyway. Aegis kill beetle, right acid tank, push bomb into freeze guy. It might actually be better to push the bomb. Up into this guy. And that would kill him. And that way, this guy doesn't take any damage. And that would kill him. And you could you could shoot this this guy from that from that side. This guy dies. Then I gotta figure out how the fuck to, to get this guy frozen. But I guess I can't really with that play. Where's the coal plant right there? What's up, bomb? How you do today? How you doing? All right. Win a, win a chicken dinner over here. Hope you're having a good Wednesday, Bob. I can't freeze this guy with this with this play, though. Doesn't seem to be growing any coal, though. Oh, it is. Oh, that's true. That's I guess I could acid and push I could push that push him into that, breaking him out of the ice. 
That's all. That's all right. That this that means that this guy is still up, but it's not that bad. Yeah, that that might be better. That might be better, maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we have well, we have the starting acid tank. All right, let's 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 go with this. this seems all right. Okay. Freeze this guy. Yeah, that seems pretty good. All right. Yeah, I think that it's 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 close. Well, actually, no. Freezing this guy is definitely better. Cause I mean, like, I could have pushed this guy into there, but then I just didn't have like a good use. That that's like good, good value. Pretty good value. Right. I love the art ice artillery so bad. It's really good. It's really, really good. There's like a there's plenty of like great moves here. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's a way that I can kill all three of these units. I like the play that gives this guy this kill though, because that gives experience to Bethany, which I wouldn't get otherwise. If we only have one turn, it doesn't matter that this guy is breaking him out of there. I want I want to give Bethany as much experience as I can. So we'll do that. Then you can just come over here and turn this guy. Actually, you can go over here and just kill him. Was a play to kill all of them. All of them. What's up, Pyromius? Well, hi, Pyromius. How are you doing today? Worked armor, eh? Okay. I love the uh, acid tank. It's so good. I mean, all of the tanks are pretty decent if you have the right setup for them. But uh, man, it's pretty great. It is like we're not we're not gonna level her up. Like there's just no way, right? I can't imagine anyway. I can't I can't see it happening. Like we'd be much better off getting you leveled up, uh, or something. But. I want I uh. Hmm. I want to increase your health, but I also need to remember that I need to get this. But we can do that anyway. We're probably going to get a... Uh, 
thing as well. Yeah, I know. That's that's what I'm thinking is, like, I could swap. I could swap. I definitely could. I still don't know if I want to, though. Like, we could do this. All right. We lose out on the plus two health here, though, which is pretty shit. Absolutely, Pyromius. Of course. I'm glad, glad you're doing well. You do gain two health, so we get your health, and then I... Well, in that case, then I would be more likely to put you... Give you that plus two health, then, yeah. What if her extra power is mech reactor? Her ability? Yeah, that's true. That's, like, the only way that we're getting it, though. Right? Okay, that seems fine. Let's let's do that. No, 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 no. Well, we well we lose the starting shield though, which is really fucking strong. I think it might be worth it to like not do that. Yeah, I, I just I don't really care if she gets an extra reactor. We we're still gonna have the reactor that we want. We can still get nine reactor or nine nine rep even without a, a time pod. So I think we're gonna keep it the way that we have it because I, I really don't want the shield. Or I really want the shield. Really, really, really do. Man, I really hope this guy puts a puts the thing right here. That would be really great. Puts the uh, whatever little pod thing. That would be awesome. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Oh. Isn't it? Isn't that guaranteed that he puts it there? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> I wish. Uh, I wish that that would have happened, but it did not. I'd love to get you into that spot, but I can't do it. Blah bombs. Oh, those, that's a great name for him. Blah bombs. Yeah, that's really good. I like that. Okay, I think I have a pretty decent play. Here's what I'm thinking. I move you here. Rocket punch that guy, so you move back a tile, so this guy's shot goes wide. You move over here, block a spawn. Bring in the tank, bro. Right here. You move three tile. Uh, well, you can just do it from right there. You could shove him over. I can actually move you onto this empty tile so you don't get moved by the by that. Or no, because you're going to be in the way. No, that's fine. We could just do that first, uh, and then shoot shoot this guy this way, and then move the and he's covered in acid. You do the shot from this position, destroying that and that, and then yeah, this guy dies from the rocket punch. This guy is still alive with one health. Can't do anything about that. And then we have our acid tank on the field. This guy dies because he's covered in acid. Oh, I get hit by that with that play. I could have moved him here and done the same thing. Is it worth using a reset for that?
to unfuck myself out of three points of damage. He's got six health. It's probably fine. I think I'm just gonna deal with my with my mistake. Yeah. That's fine. reset way too often on the first turn yeah it's yeah it's easy to it's easy to want to it really is I think I'm gonna freeze this guy I need to stop this guy's attack though because it's gonna hit the building so I kind of want to move here freeze this guy Rocket punch this guy, but it doesn't do enough damage. Only does four. If I sacrifice this acid tank to deal that extra point of damage, that gets the kill on this guy. Which is... Otherwise, I have to take three damage and then a fourth from the spawn, which kind of sucks. We leave this guy alive. Well, I, I come over here and shoot from this position, dealing you two points and this destroying this. That's pretty good. And then this guy, this guy dies. Or no, yeah, he doesn't. Even with the, even with the acid, doesn't do enough. And yes, it does. Yeah, it does. That kills everything. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that kills everything. I actually don't block the spawn. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, I do, because I could just use his other attack. Oh, no, no, I can't. He's not covered in acid. So I do have to rocket punch, but that's still okay. Use that. So I don't block the spawn, but that's fine. And then you do this, kills both of them. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't ice the tile that's directly next to me, unfortunately, it doesn't work. Just throw that guy into the acid. I could do the same with this guy. I just block this spawn. Get a shield up. I could also ask. I could also just like freeze you. I guess. I don't think it really matters though. A normal attack would stop the spawn and the hit though. It would turn him around, but I kind of wanted him dead. But yeah, that definitely makes sense. To have uh, it's de it makes more sense to you're you're correct. Uh, snake, snake up to uh, to block the spawn and then deal him damage and flip his attack around. But I just kind of wanted was I was I was kill hungry. Okay, I was kill hungry.
Freeze the buildings. We've talked about this. Uh, yeah, I could have frozen the uh, the power plant, I guess, or the yeah the power generator. I think I think that worked out all right though. <laughs> Throwing the freeze away wasn't too big of a deal, but that was the more that was the more proper play. You're right. You're right. You're right. Tomato sent me some um, some coffee as a housewarming gift, and uh, just that was the first cup that I've had of it. It's very, very nice. I tried the darker roast first. It's called uh, uh, Lemonita Boru Black, something like that. Boru Black, or Batak, or something. Did you see that clip from Sequisha Snake where uh, where he was like, he did the replay in slow motion and he's like, streamer, go and get the painkillers. Streamer, go and get the painkillers. Oh my God. <laughs> it was so good. What's up, Bat? Bat Magoo? I thought, I thought that, I thought your name was Batman Goo. Like a Katmandu kind of a, you know? But it was Bat Magoo. That's. That's good. That's good too. Go and get the painkillers! Streamer! This is like technically better, uh, value wise. But I want the. The, uh, the rep. Go back and get the painkillers. So great. Yeah, I want the rep, so we're doing this. Um This is gonna be a fucking rough turn one, let me tell ya. If I move you back here, we get the shot from this thing, from this thing to go here, probably. Probably. Maybe? Yeah, almost assuredly. Like, that's a triple shot. Uh, and then the problem is, is this guy could uh, screw me up here. I'm going to move you back so you can't attack me and lock me in from that spot. Okay, so... Uh, if even if you get frozen up here from this guy, what can you do? I need to freeze him, probably. And then, but then if the unit enemy unit was here and here, you couldn't move forward. Oh God, that doesn't sound good at all. Maybe I don't want to do that then. Let's try this. I can't I can't sit here and think about that shit all day. <laughs> this is gonna drive myself insane trying to plan for every every pre-move here. What's up, Magrath? How you doing today, brother? Love that neon sign that just says bar. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, this is a very good rocket punch here. Very, very good value. Deal myself a point of damage, doesn't really matter though. Okay, so we can do that. I need to stop this jerk butt. I 
I need to get the damage increase up on you, but I can't do that until after we're done with the island. Don't, don't reckon. I don't reckon. Okay, so I could take my tank after after you do this rocket punch, move you here, and then shoot and kill you, and damaging you for one. I could uh, move over here, block that guy's attack, and then take a uh, acid tank and do something with it. I don't know. Something. Could block the spawn or, or something. That spawn. That seems like a pretty good turn. Batman plus Mr. Magoo is my father's nickname, and I kept it. I lurk, uh, I'm lurk now to keep it up with the vet, vet, vet killing. Will do, Bat, Bat Magoo. I kind of thought I didn't. I just assumed that it was like a like it just it didn't have anything to do with Batman. I just thought it was like Bat and Mr. Magoo because like a bat is blind and Mr. Magoo is Mr. Mr. Magoo is the blindest motherfucker on the face of the planet, right? Mr. Magoo is like Baby's Day Out. Like, but the life of baby, like, grown up, you know what I mean? Like, that's what Mr. Magoo is. He's like Baby's Day Out, but like, but like an adult. <laughs> Alright, I think this turn's great. But anyway, lurk away, sir. <laughs> Where are you gonna launch the acid tank? I'm gonna launch it right here, because this guy is gonna be dead, Storm. That guy's gonna be dead. He's gonna be dead! God, this turn is really good. Alright. Really great turn. And this even blocks a spawn. How can you get any more value than that? Oh my sweet baby Jesus. Good lord. You're dead. Um. B -b 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 Protecting a pub? People don't need to be drinking like time like this. Well, that's that's just not true. This is like the best time to be drinking. Uh, the absolute best time to be drinking. I think I need to actually deal a point of damage to you, so that way you can get onto this tile, block a spawn, rocket punch this guy. Oh, no, you don't block a spawn because you're rocket punching that guy, right? Uh... Well... Get the acid shoot you over here. Uh, I don't think I like that. Freeze your acid tank from the other spawn, blocks two spawns. Yeah, I might. I might. So I could do here. I mean, he's gonna block the other spawn anyway, so I guess what I could do is move you here, move you here, move you here. Uh kill this guy freeze my tank rocket punch you and then you have then double freeze block two more spawns I do need to kill enemies this turn so I don't know if I want to block all these spawns but uh, whatever All right. 
So I have three turns. Why couldn't I have been on this spawn? Could I have been on that spawn and done it? It doesn't matter. Whatever, it's fine. Could have, I could have stopped a single point of damage. I think. Is a mighty fine turn. All right, GG. Yeah, the acid tank really lets us kind of do some ham bone shenanigans. Protect the tide pod. Tide pod protected. All right. It's time for some seismic activity, if you know what I'm talking about. All right, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, no. No, we don't. Destroy five goos. Okay, if you say so. I didn't really have anything good to put the time of the uh, reactor cores into, so I didn't. I did not. It's a lot of elites. A lot of it's a lot of shenanigans. What that is? The goo is the worst. Eh, oh, the worst. It's pretty. It's pretty shit. This is gonna be a, quite the clusterfuck. Might be better off having you over here. Uh, maybe it's better to have you. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't want. I don't want this thing to like be right there. That would suck really bad. Which team did you like the most? I think my favorite is the uh, the rusting Hulk's dreamy robot. I think they're the most fun. Oh, dislike. Um, I don't know. I like them all, to be honest. Uh, it, my. My first one that I lost was the self-damaging dudes, like the hazard mechs. Uh, but they are still really, really uh, interesting. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like them all. They, the, I'm not sure which one's my least favorite. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, the Vape Nation. The, the, uh, stor the Rusting Hulks. The, the the vaping hulks put you down here Sudoka is not that good or is it which one's Sudoka uh, Like, this guy's probably heading down here, so it'd be nice to have a unit down here to be able to deal with it. I don't know, this might be fun. Oh, the Judoka? Oh, the Judoka's great. I really like the Judoka. I think they're my second favorite. To be honest. Most dislike is between Flame Boys and Judoka. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. 
I think the Jidoka are my second favorite. I need to stop that. I don't need to stop that. Not a fan of the Freeze team, mainly because the Janus tank. The two other units are fun. Oh, I like the Janus tank quite a bit, yeah. I, I don't know. I, the, the thing is, is like every squad has their own like little weird kind of proclivities, and it's uh, those parts of the team that I like the most. Like when you have to learn how to use like a really weird unit, like that's that's like really part of the fun for me. Like having this unit that's like a danger uh, to itself and others, or a unit that's, uh, just, like, wild, it's, like, powerful, but, like, in a wild kind of way or whatever. Nice, Sandriv. Awesome, dude. Teleport mech is the best part of the flame team. Still need to win with the team that uh, with them and Hazard. Oh, I love the teleporter, yeah. Yeah, the jet is the jet's movement is crazy good, and like once you get his his uh, storm attack, his cloud attack to the double length or the like the two spaces. Ah, oh, it's so great. I kind of want to like get you here block that shot I can move you here put the tank here push this out of the way so it's not doing anything and that that way you you pushes this guy down we get we lose our shield but then you block the spawn and get dealt the point of damage which is kind of nice um you could come over here, destroy one, the first form of the uh, goo. But then we still have th all three of these enemy units to deal with? Man, that's fucking rough. That is fucking rough. I could come all the way over here. You can push the charger to the left as well. I could. I could come over here and, like, do this. I might want to, like, get rid of this guy first. Like, I might really want to. Because that this guy, this guy is going to be causing me all kinds of fucking problems. You know? He can just throw stuff into really problematic areas. Yeah, but I don't care about this guy's attack. It's really not that big of a problem. You know? I might want to kill this guy. So if we do if we do that and then we move you here, spawn an acid tank, push that out of the way. Then we can come over here and like get two points of damage in on this guy and, to, and move him a, a tile back. And then he and he almost assuredly moves right here, into in in to attack me, and, and with one health remaining, so he can kill him next turn. That's pretty good. I think I like that play. This guy, this guy's alive. This guy's dead. This guy is gonna end up having three health, one from my pushback, and then a, a second health from the blocking the spawn. You can block two spawns. I can block two spawns, but I sacrifice like. I sacrifice 
the damage. Like, I, I have to, I have to, like, like, this is blocking one spawn, and I think that that's fine. You know what I mean? Like, I, I could block two spawns, but that would mean putting you here, and then, and then pushing this guy that direction, which would end up killing him, which is good, but then this guy is still alive, and I don't like that. I, I think I'd rather have this guy dead, and a new enemy spawn. Might as well block spawn with Artie. I disagree because this guy is going to block a spawn and that gets me an extra damage on the enemy, which is a better play. So by, by putting him here, like if I put, you know, you know, if I put him here, he pushes me off of the spawn because that's what his attack does, right? And then, no, and then there is no spawn block at all. So that's a bad play. So I might as well put him here so that way he stops right here, pushes me here. This also gets my acid tank on the field, which is really nice. the body bump had the bi-directional KB, but no. Ah, that's all good. Okay, let's see here. I can't quite push him into the acid. Thought you'd push Charger onto the second spawn. Oh, sure. Nah, I don't, I don't think I like doing that. I think I like getting that other guy dead more. Okay, let's see here. I could freeze this guy. I don't think that that's worth it. I might I might actually like not dealing this guy a point of damage. Oh wait, uh this how about you're doing 3 damage, aren't you? You can move here. I could turn you around and I get a shield and then you just attack and kill that guy. That's way better. Yeah, so we could do that. Okay. I kind of, well, actually, I could even do that and block a spawn, which is, like, even way better. Okay. So let's plan on that. Okay. Uh, what can you do? I don't know. I might, actually, I might just push this guy back a tile and have him block the spawn for me. That gets more damage on the enemy, and so you just move here. And then do that attack. And that way I still keep my shield, which is better. Okay, so so that means you're going to be standing where you are, pushing him back a tile. So he starts attacking this tile. He kills him. Uh, what do I ice? I ice. Uh, do I ice anything? I don't think I should because then I can't do anything next turn. Oh, that's true. Yeah, killing the boss. That's that's a good point. We don't know where the uh, slimes are going to be spawning. Let's Let's see what they're going to do. Good point, good point. Okay. This will even get an extra point of damage on them, which is good. I think we still go with our rest of the play, and then this guy just... I don't think it's worth freezing one of these goos. I think we're just I think we're just gonna pass turn. We're just gonna like move him up here. Or not up there, like right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just gonna move you right here. Push you back one. Get some acid going on ya. Sweet. This looks pretty good. I like it. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Two turns. I gotta kill 
Four goose. Freeze buildings. Dude, I understand that you want me to freeze a building, Anarcher, but if I use my unit to freeze something, he she becomes frozen. Which is very bad. It's very, very bad. Because I can't unfreeze her without using an action. What's up, Foulster? How you doing today, man? Okay, so this guy actually kills him because he attacks first, then you just shoot him. Excuse me, so you could, so we could just have you do that. That's fine. You got that covered. Okay. Existing sounds uh, sounds like quite the quite the life. We could kill this slime and then see what we got to do too. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Are the monsters dead yet? Ah, oh, they're pretty dead. Pretty dead. So I like this. Let's let's do this first. Let's see where these dudes spawn. Okay. Your attack does nothing other than put you in acid, really. I do need to kill more slimes, but it's kind of hard for me to fucking get over there. Yeah, I think we're gonna kill the scarab with, uh... With you, actually. What's the order on the charge in the firefly? It's beneficial to me. Firefly kills the charger, because the charger goes first. That's the order. Ah, that's an interesting idea. We could, yeah, we could turn him around to kill the slime for us. That's a pretty good play. And then we freeze the scarab. Well, I don't know if we freeze the scarab, though. It might. He's, he's already used his action this turn. Because there was a slime here, right? Uh, I don't know if I like freezing the scarab. Yeah, I might need to freeze the scarab though, because there's no. If I do that play, I do like that. That's pretty good. Uh. I do it. So next turn, I have to kill three goos. How do I unfreeze this guy for next turn? I don't. I can't. Hmm. Isn't the goo boss literally the movie The Blob? Uh, I guess suppose, yeah. He's got some he's got some what's the, what's that inside of him there? Like what's in inside of the goo? Is that a piece of a building? It looks like kind of organic. Whatever it is in there. gonna do this block the spawn I could freeze that tile for no particularly good reason nothing good for me to freeze here I want to get this acid tank like somewhere where he can try to be relevant Gonna be over here. Uh, 
It is going to be tough to get three goo kills next turn, but it's definitely doable. Cause this, they are, all three of them have one health, so... If you freeze the acid bulls, the acid doesn't work. Yeah, I know, but he's got he's got one health, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Yep. Please move here. Yes. Okay, that's great. Wow, you guys are just doing all the work for me, are you? <laughs> okay. See where this goes. Okay. This guy can this guy can kill both of those. You're gonna kill that for me. I want I definitely want you to get the kills here. I can't kill that slime though. Bonus blob kill from Firefly, yep. Yeah, give me experience. I'm just gonna let that firefly kill the uh, kill that unit. Aha! Take that, you jerk face! You fragged jerkosaurus. Was a perfect island or no? Yes, it was. Hooray! Chenrog. After attacking, gain one free tile movement. That's pretty darn powerful. I'm not a huge fan of Raining Death. It is definitely powerful, but the self-damage is pretty rough. What's up, Kuno? How you doing today, bud? Kuno's here. He must have done some tweets. Thanks for liking the retweet, Kuno. I appreciate that, man. Plus one reactor sold. Eh... Fine. I mean, you already have the one mech move, so all it's going to do is just go into move, but then we actually miss out on a point of move, and we're not going to be able to uh, level you up. I mean, I could just take you and then sell you. You're actually almost a level, but still. Like, the ability, like, this ability is better here. This is fine. And, like, this is, yeah, this is, like, perfectly acceptable. Sitting here, my whole eat my whole roasted chicken and watch you squash bugs with the most expensive fly swatters in the multiverse. Yeah, that could be a plus one move. It could even be a boat. That's right. I'm just gonna take take her and sell her. So. Did the developer say anything about the perfect island reward? That pilot is strictly better than the grid? I haven't asked I haven't asked him about it. Mercury fists! Smoke pellets! Surround yourself with smoke to fend against nearby enemies. Vec take plus one damage from bumps and blocking emerging Vec. That's a really, really good ability. Actually. I'd have to get rid of critical shields, which I actually don't even have powered up right now. Probably worth it. So I need four, I need four reactor cores, which I can still get.
Is that Mercury Fist or Vice Fist? Mercury Fist. I already have Rocket Fist, though, so we're not switching that out. Even for Vice Fist right now. So I think we're buying that. Selling that. Definitely selling this. And then we get four. No, I can get three, and that'll give me four reactor cores. I sell this. I get that on you. And then I get four bars of, uh, of power on you and put the one here and the other one there. Sounds good. Rocket punch! Falcon punch! Either way, solution would be not let to be the pilot donated right away. That would seem to keep the intent. That's that that could do it, sad, yeah. That could definitely do it. I don't think we're gonna need critical shields, but uh, you never really know. Sometimes shit goes uh, haywire. You have a pretty mediocre time. But we're gonna say that we're gonna be okay without it. Upgrade that I want is that extra health, but it's not necessary, especially with the shield. Anything else? Islander. What does Force Amp do again? Uh, plus one damage on um, on Vec from Bump and Emerging Vec damage. Pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. To the last stand! You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes to get past initial security. An officer sets up, steps up, sets up direct feed to the Federation outpost. Something blah blah. I don't know. Things. This unit risks itself by coming to this Vec volcanic guy, so their use might persist. What the hell are you doing here? Come on! Oh no, that's the first thing- <laughs> What the fuck is that? Well, look at that! I've never seen that before! What the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh my god! You fucked up, Vec! You fucked up big time! <laughs> what? <laughs> wow crazy he's on my side all i gotta do is freeze this and we don't take any damage <laughs> what the fuck next level strats let me tell you wow next level strats Wow, I've never seen that uh, happen quite like that before. Pretty crazy. Web doesn't prevent the charge, though. 
Web doesn't prevent the charge. Oh, you're right. Oh, I didn't I didn't actually realize he was attacking. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But but because he goes first, he pushes him a tile over, so he charges into the lava. Yes. So as long as I don't get in his way, he's going to just run right into the fucking lava. So I, I need to make sure that I'm not in his way. <laughs> stupid Vec. Ah, you stupid bastard. Okay, so what's the best play then? What do, what do I want to do with this guy? I could just turn his attack around, which is alright. It's not terrible. And then he's then I deal two points of damage to him. He has a pretty mediocre time. Alternatively, uh, rocket punching doesn't seem very good. This seems pretty good. Let's turn him around. Block the spawn with him. I think I think he's gonna block this spawn and just sit here and do nothing. You're gonna move here, ice this, and uh, you're just you're just gonna turn this guy around. Shield the dude E4. Why would I shield that guy? Like, well, we're going to do that attack, if that's what you're talking about. Then, yeah, I could punch him, but then I take grid damage, though, so I don't really care for that. It would kill him. So we freeze this tile. I wish I could get my acid tank out right now, but this is just such a great play. Anyway, I don't think it really matters. You can do damage to the Firefly with the Janus. Well, I, I don't want to. Um, like, I, I could. But then it would uh, push him this way. And I don't... I'd rather block a spawn and leave this guy up. You know? I think that's better. Because, like, yeah, I could, like, shoot him and then do with the rocket punch and whatever. But, eh. Like, if I, like, I, here's how I kill this unit. Like, I, I do this attack, and then I come in here, and then I just turn them around or whatever, do the other attack. Or I can do the other attack first, but then I don't get to block the spawn. Like, if I, the only way that I can get this guy here so that I could use that attack and block the spawn, first of all, it pushes this guy out of the way, so then he doesn't take that damage, which is kind of sad. But also, um, this guy gets pushed back when he rocket punches. Right? And so he'd be in this guy's way, and then he wouldn't go into the lava. Which is not good, so... So we're just gonna block a spawn there. You're gonna turn this doofus around. They do take extra bump damage. This is such a hilarious turn. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen that happen quite like that before. I've definitely never seen this guy attack two of his own friendlies. That's pretty hilarious. Okay. Don't. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Alright, Manelli. Let's see here. This is a pretty funky situation. How do I get you out of there? I don't know if I can. Ice doesn't save you from this. 
or the shield doesn't save you from that, so that's bad. What's up, Perez? What's up, uh, Calador? Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Yeah, the acid tank unfortunately does not uh, does not do anything. Ah, okay. We're actually no, 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 because that no, nah, never mind. That happens first. His attack pushes me away, but I die because the environment happens first. Calador with the 10 consecutive months. Where's my notification? There it is. There it is. Calador, thank you so very much for the 10 consecutive months. We better get some wasps and hearts around here to welcome Calador back to the wasp guard. Thank you so very much, dude, for the 10 consecutive months. I really do appreciate it. The, the love is accumulating. Well, you better start picking it up. Seriously, like, like all the love, though. Don't leave any of the love lying around. You better pick it up and take it with you. All right. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you, Calador. All the freaking love, bud. Okay, I can save the freeze mech. I need to take a lot of grid damage <laughs> to do it though. I need to take a lot of grid damage to do it. But I could do it. We could. Could save the freeze mech. Yeah, but it's probably worth it though. Uh, I, well, here, let's see. Uh, let's see. Is love transferable, Billy? I think I left some lying around when I resubbed. Oh, no. I don't want to hear that. You're really saving the pilot. The mech revives last phase. Yeah. Yes, that is true. But we have to survive two more turns with one less pilot, which is pretty shit. Good lord. We take so much grid damage. Like an insane amount of grid damage. <laughs> Told you that purple pilgrim meter was full and I couldn't fit anymore. No, I don't care, Bon. Pick it up anyway. Pi start piling it on top. I lose the pilot and then I take probably take that much damage the next two turns anyway. Maybe. Does the acid tank survive if the mech dies? Yeah, probably. Ever consider kill all humans? Well, there's only one, so I guess that wouldn't be too difficult. Environment ignores shields, that is correct. The What kills the pilot? The volcanic projectile. It goes right through the shield. Three resists, easy peasy. Hang on, let me let me figure out exactly what's going on. Like I, I'm risking, I think. It does free you up though, so that way you could you could stop some shit from happening. Right? Environment always goes first, that's correct. Let me think here. Uh except for fire damage. Fire damage should go first. It's actually risking eight grid damage, right? Because it pushes this guy into that grid too. I could freeze a tile. I could freeze one of these. I still have no idea how you plan to save the mech. Ah, okay, here's how we save the mech. I move you here, I fire this guy, pushes him into the water, and then I move over here and I rocket punch this guy, freeing this guy from the web. That's how I, that's how I save the mech, sorry. 
But that means this guy is now hitting the grid. So we get hit in the grid here, 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 and here. So that's eight grid damage. Can the acid mech push instead? The problem is, is that if I use her action, then she can't move anymore. Oh, I see what you're... No. No, 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 no. Because then she she's stuck on the volcanic tile, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. 25% chance to lose if you risk eight damage. Well, we wouldn't actually need to take eight because you could move somewhere and freeze one of these units. You can also accept that the mech dies and deploy an acid tank. It would suck, but at least you would have an acid tank to help in the next turn. That's true. We take like no grid damage. Well, we take, we risk like two grid damage. Or something, if I just accept this thing's fate. So, something like that, anyway. What would freezing her mean? Freezing her does nothing because she has a shield active, and it also also it, it also does not stop the environment from killing her. Yeah, I think we probably let Bethany die, which is pretty annoying, and, but you're right, getting the acid tank on the field. Okay, so if we're going to get the acid tank onto the field, how do we want to play that then? So, I could shoot the acid tank down here. And have the acid tank fire into here or something. That's not that good. We could have you come in here, fire at this, kills you, deals two damage to you. And then I could have the acid tank come into that spot and then fire into you. Which would deal one point of damage to you, or two points to you. Putting you to one, which means that when you do your attack... He dies, and he doesn't deal me any grid damage, and then you could just, like, murder this guy. If you punch the cannon yourself, does the web get destroyed? No. If you punch the cannon yourself. You mean if I punch my own unit? No, I don't, uh, I don't free him. I'd have to, like, pull him from this tile into this tile, or from this tile into that tile. You know what I mean? So, like, shooting my own unit doesn't free it. But that does mean we get two spawns active, but I mean, I need to try to stop grid damage. It's pretty, pretty important. Also, we could move here and do the rocket punch, killing you and pushing you onto this tile, so that way you're not dying to that. Yeah, that, so that sounds pretty good. So we block a spawn, these two die, this guy is at full health. This guy is at one health then. Or no, no, this guy dies. This guy dies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this guy dies. This guy dies. That guy's at full health. We kill, 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 dies. Yeah, okay, that sounds pretty strong. Okay. Do I have to, what order do I have to do this in? You first. You first, then the acid tank, and then and then he, he goes last. Yeah. Godspeed, Beth. Godspeed. I'm sorry, Beth. I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. The acid tank will live on in your honor. Hopefully. No! 
<laughs> Lost power to the shields. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. All right. Oh wow, you you fucked up. Uh, you're dead. <laughs> you're super dead, bud. All right. How much health do you have? Seven. Actually, I could kill it with you if you if I could, was able to get you out of the way, but I don't have any way of doing that. Yeah, friendlies. Uh, friendlies move through each other, yes. Yeah. In indeed, they do. I don't get to block the spawn here, which is kind of lame. But the acid tank can block a spawn and still survive for the final turn. Oh wait, you know what sucks about this? Is that I that I damage my own unit too. But it's only it's only three. You go to two, only three. Let's see. Is there any way that is there a better way that I could do that? I could just shove him off of me, and he would block a spawn. Blocking spawns might actually be better here. Might be better. So I, I move him over. He blocks the spawn. Takes two points of damage. I move you here. Murder this guy. Yeah, but I still have one turn, and he could get locked down. Uh, Gattle, which would be bad. I think I'd rather have this guy alive and block a spawn, because he's covered in acid, so he's basically like one shot, right? Couldn't you push him into the water? Yeah, but pushing him into the water doesn't do anything, because he's a boss enemy. Right, and then, and then he doesn't block any spawns, yeah. We'll put a shield on you. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Man, you guys really do not like that acid tank. Not like that acid tank at all, do you? Whoops, sorry. Just punched my microphone. Okay. I can just shove you off of me, uh, and then I could uh, come over here, shoot you to death, or whatever. And then, uh,. Actually, it might even be better to. Well, I don't. I guess I don't get to kill you, though. Yeah. Save the tank in Beth's memory. Oh, don't worry. The, the tank's fine. Nothing bad happened there. Whee! Setting down the... Oh, did you see how she had the shield there for a second? 
and then it disappeared because the game's like, oh, you got the Shia, never mind. Never mind, you're dead. <laughs> Thanks, Renfield Bomb, you're the greatest. Mm-hmm. Great, that's really good for me. Stay right there. No, nah, come on. Son of a bitch! Okay. Um, let's see. Where can we go? Where can we go? It's going good, Kuro. How's your work day going? Okay, so I do, I do need to stop this guy, but we can do that with the uh, acid tank. Can't complain. Cool. I'm glad, I'm glad it's going good. Okay, so we always want to, if whenever possible, block all three spawns on this first turn. It's like super duper important. Here's why. After the first turn, three tentacles come up and pull my units in, uh, pull where my units are located, my main three units. So if we stand on the three spawns, it completely stops the spawns from happening for the rest of the fight. So it's like single-handedly the most important thing that you can possibly do, turn one in this fight. Okay, so it's super duper important. Please do it when at all possible. Here's my play. We're gonna move you here. We're gonna shoot here. We're gonna move you here. We're gonna move you here. We're going to shoot an acid tank over here. He's gonna move down and shoot you onto this so that kills you. And then you're going to attack nothing so that you gain a shield. Every time I read to hear, hey Billy, I think of that YouTube clip where the guy falls through the roof. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what one you're talking about, Storm. He's like, hey, Billy. Hey, Carl. That hurt, or whatever. Yeah. Stop copying me. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. You guys are like broken records. Yeah, hey, Ron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, Ron. That's what it is. All right. So this is especially great because it gets the acid tank on the field. Hey, you're dead. And you can attack nothing. Get a shield up. Alright, that looks pretty fucking great. Really, 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 really good turn one. So, you'll see that the, uh... Someday they're gonna patch that out. I hope that they don't, though, because I think it's a really, uh... Like, that's a pretty huge, like, revelation that we came to. To, to put that strategy to use. So, I don't know. I really like it. Oh, it sucks not having that extra health here. I wasn't thinking of that. But you can see the tentacles. They show up here. Like that. And now now that completely has stopped those spawns from being a thing. From doing things, right? So, it's really, really important. The overlay is on for the grid. When did that launch? Uh, two days ago. Uh, or no, yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday, I think. Yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty freaking awesome. Okay, how do I kill this guy? Oh, I thought that was a mod. Nope, that is a part of the game. It's in your options. Options, grid coordinates. 
It was something that uh, Justin had uh, spoken to me and uh, Dolphin about. Asking if that was a feature that we were interested in. And indeed, indeed it was. Freeze power Janus Hornet. Freeze the Hornets. If I throw acid on him and then shoot him and then freeze, so I freeze the Hornet, but how do I free my guy? Well, I can, yeah. Well, I don't need the acid tank to kill this guy because I'm doing three points of damage. So I can just like block the spawn, move over here, kill this guy move over here, kill this guy, and then I just let that guy live, like you say? That's probably better to just let this guy live, because his attack is garbage anyway. I mean, I could come over here and, like, turn his attack around, but then I, then this guy's attack goes through, and that doesn't seem very good. F3 kill Hornet, B4 kills other, and acid push to F3. This, this seems fine. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. Okay, so that if I push him onto that tile, oh, he can't move that far. No, nah, he can't move that far, but that's a good idea, though. Good, good, good idea. That would have been pretty good. I could move this guy all the way down and push him down, but then I'd take this guy's attack and blah, blah, blah. Just push him out of the tile that gets eaten. It is good, but he can't move that far. I'd have to I'd have to have you do it. And then I'd have to let this enemy spawn. Right? So like if I put put you here, push that guy onto that tile, and then I then I push you over so that you don't get a hit, then you're alive. And the spawn is comes in. I, I think we're gonna go with the other play. It's a really good idea, though. I'm just gonna move you right into the middle so that you're more likely to be able to uh, do what I need you to do. Acid tank didn't do anything this turn. All right, throw some acid right there. Enemies don't spawn on lava tiles. Yeah, but there's this spot. This one right here. The, the only spawn that was going to happen. Right? Okay. Damn, one tile away from being able to move to that location with you. Thought you're worried about the other spawns too. No, 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 no. That was the whole, that was the whole discussion that we just had about how important it is to block those tiles because it completely eliminates them from the uh, field of play. Yeah. I actually like, uh, oh, you can't move out of there. Oh, shit. Hmm. Is it bad that I hope these spawns are in the tentacle tiles? You get compensating spawns next turn in the future patch? Well, I feel like the game might already do compensating spawns based on how many enemy uh, enemies are on the field. I don't know that for sure. But, uh... But it, sometimes I feel like that's the case. Janus Ice Mech to block spawn. 
Now, we're going to block all the spawns and freeze this guy, and I don't even freeze myself because I'm over lava. So, it's like a flawless turn, pretty much. Well, I could have also rocket punched. Eh, whatever. Oh my god! That freeze with the lava is super handy to know. Yeah, it's very, very powerful, Meat Bomb, for sure. Very, very powerful. Did the lava tile under the ice mech change color? The one underneath of him? Well, it did because of the tentacles, but you mean before that? It might have. I don't know. I didn't, uh, I didn't really notice that, but it's definitely possible. We're like absolutely fine here, but I'm like, how do I get all the kills? I'll tell you how I get all the kills. We sacrifice our acid tank. is so good at making you feel smart. I love it. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's really like, there, there's definitely plenty of times where the game just like presents you with a nearly impossible solution, or if you make one mistake, it just fucking, all, everything falls apart, and it's just like, seems impossible, but then, but then you like, figure out that one solution, and it's just like so amazing when you do. It just makes it uh, so satisfying. Victory to Serena, Ariane, and the robotic autopilot. The robotic autopilot. We don't, I don't want to talk about the... <laughs> don't want to talk about the person that was in there beforehand. All right, GG chat. 29,272 island li civilian lives protected. GG, not too bad. What's up, Mananinen? Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Welcome, welcome. GG. Think buildings on fire or smoke frozen should have civilian casualties? I... Smoke? No. Fire and ice? That's arguable. Yeah, I don't know, Dan Wolf. I'm not sure. I definitely was kind of surprised when they didn't, but... Uh... I mean, the thing is, is like, there's there's buildings that start on with ice. So I don't think ice should, maybe fire should. I don't know. It's tough, tough for sure. Yeah, as Ren Renfield knows what he's doing, Pyromius. Since regular smoke and frozen don't do damage, kind of iffy. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 